to an exciting day at my science lab. Well, I'm going to show you an interesting experiment on osmosis. So for this, the materials required are two eggs, two glasses and a bottle of vinegar. Now, I'm going to pour vinegar into these glasses with eggs and wait for two days. That is 48 hours. Oh, I can see some weird bubbles around the eggs. Wonder what they could be. Now it has been two days and let's see how our eggs are faring. Hey, where did the shell go? It's all soft and squishy and bouncy. Hmm, let's see how this happened. We know eggshells are made of calcium carbonate and the acid in the vinegar broke down the shell, releasing carbon dioxide, which were the bubbles we saw first. What's remaining now is the membrane surrounding the albumin and yolk. And also see that the dipped egg is bigger than a normal egg. Looks like it drank some water. Well, actually, that's osmosis. Osmosis means the process where molecules can pass through a membrane from a higher concentration to a lower one. The water concentration in vinegar is higher than that in the egg. Hence, through osmosis, some water from the vinegar has entered to the egg. Next, I have dipped the two bouncy eggs, one in corn syrup and the other in water. Let's wait for a day. Now it has been one day and we can see that the egg in corn syrup has shrunk and the egg in water has become bigger. This is also osmosis. The water concentration in corn syrup is lesser than that in the egg. Hence, through osmosis, some water from the egg has moved into the syrup, thus shrinking it. In case of egg in water, the opposite has happened, making it bigger. Now let's see the size difference. This is a normal egg. This is the egg dipped in corn syrup and this is the egg dipped in water. Hope you all had fun with osmosis. Thank you.